It's a branch. Okay, bye bye. Here's to the kids that use fictional characters as a way of coping. Here's to the kids that stay up late crying to their favorite characters. Here's to the kids that imagine their favorite characters by their side when they're experiencing bad anxiety in public. Here's to the kids that need works of fiction to keep on surviving. Adding a shout out to adults who cope in this way too. Life doesn't become easy just because you've grown up. That! Tumblr doesn't actually run on code. It's held together by the pure belief in this site. This is why it gets so bugged. That explains a lot. I just had a realization. Vegeta knows what clown means. Saiyan said clowns. Yes, at least one. His name is Vegeta. Wait, him, the king, or the planet? Can I eat myself out of my body? Like astral project into a black hole so my brain stops quivering in my skull and yanking my nervous system around with it? Making cup ramen is a religious experience. Amen. More like ramen. Who eats through salami slices like dollar bills? And you 20 salami slices. Yeah, we good here? Don't say I didn't do anything nice for you. To all trans guys, the F on your birth certificate isn't for female. It's to pay respects. And to all trans women, the M on your birth certificate isn't for male. It's for ma'am. And to all NB friends, F is for fabulous and M is for mambo number five. Bop, 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 bop. Sing? Hmm, must be the curse. Every time something bad happens and refusing to elaborate is my new hobby. I like it. Ancient Greek astrologers be like, Oh yes, a goat. That's not even Tumblr. You just screenshot it Twitter and put it on your Tumblr. How dare you catchy memes? In an alternative timeline, Homestuck is popular in the mainstream and there's Funko Pop figures of all the trolls. Horrible. Risk of variants are Hot Topic exclusives. Screw cool and edgy power-ups. I want to transform like a magical girl with a talking pet. Well, Vebus, do I have some fun fact for you? As it turns out, in those magical girl sequences, there's so much energy going around that if the villain actually tried to interfere instead of just standing around like a fucking goober, they would die. That's how much energy there is in that transformation power-up. It's hardcore as fuck. Why do Americans freak out over us Canadians having bagged milk? Who the fuck bags milk? Who the fuck brings guns into Walmart? Okay, yeah, that's fair. Everyone's gonna fucking know I painted my cutie mark on. The other kid ponies are gonna beat the shit out of me during pony recess, oh god. They're gonna know I'm an imbecile. I am a girl, and I am very preby. Apparently I was not a girl, but I'm still preby. <gasps> Good for you, Pip. I have something truthful to say, but you guys are not gonna like it. Everyone's always talking about how they want to restart the cult of Dionysus and go wild and all, but honestly, the cult of Dionysus already has a modern-day equivalent and everybody hates them. Guys, it's the theater kids. Yeah, I don't think theater kids get as drunk and kill people, but I don't know, it's been a while. Get a load of this loser who's never been to a cast party. <laughs> Anyone who says they would rather be an Avenger than a Guardian is a fool. The Guardians go on a constant outer space adventures with a talking tree set to 70s dad music. Plus, they all love and would literally die for each other. What do the Avengers do? Assemble for five minutes and get into a Walmart parking lot fight and never see each other again. Fuck you! Thor Ghost wrote this. Yeah, but the catch is with the Guardians, you have to do it all with Chris Pratt. Can't you hear it? The cries of the anguished. Yeah, me neither. I was kidnapped by Underfell Sands and Papyrus. Underfell? God, I wish that were me. Reminder for the House of Dragons fans. Don't name children after any characters until the show is over. Better yet, don't name your kids after characters ever. Because that kid is also a person, person. who will one day have friends. And maybe a family of their own. Imagine someone having a grandma named- Hold on, let me just check my, uh, House of Dragon character names here. Rhaenyra. Or Alicent. Fucking really? I really wish I was a cat. I'm not built for this capitalist society, but I am built for, like, sleeping 19 hours a day and knocking things over. Sis 2022 with the same cadence of scooby dooby doo Hold on, let me try this. 2022. Whoa. What's the standards for the back rooms? Oh, there are so many violations here. The creature that was chasing me was wearing open toe high heels. It what? what? Yeah, who's gonna tell these races that the oldest mermaid lore is actually from Cambodia, not Germany, like we were led to believe? 
Humans all over the world looking at the ocean. What if there was a girl in there? Life hack! Got something you need to do at a certain time every day? Start giving your cat a treat right before you do it. You may have trouble remembering, but your cat absolutely will not. That's damn good advice. The cat wrote this. If you ever look up to me, you're wrong. This isn't because I'm short, I'm not short! This is because today I was at a beach and I forgot what sand smelled like, so I decided to stick my nose into the sand and snort. And it went... Absolutely not excellent. Huge pet peeve in video games is when you can't hold your breath underwater for very long, or it takes a good while to regain your breath above water. Unrealistic. Like, my condolences to the devs for your lack of breath support, but that just could not be me. Yeah, you a frog or perhaps a turtle? I am a saxophone player. Holy shit, they're immortal. Anti-revenge narrative this, anti-revenge narrative that. I personally think that Inigo Montoya had the right idea when he stabbed Count Rugen in the gut and said, I want my father back, you son of a bitch. Yeah, a lot of revenge arcs end with the hero saying, there's nothing you can do to bring my loved one back, so me seeking revenge is pointless. The Princess Bride revenge arc ends with Inigo Montoya saying, there's nothing you can do to bring my loved one back, so there's nothing that can save you. Now that's good writing. I can't believe it, you played us like a fiddle! Oh please, fiddles are hard to play. I played you like the kazoos you are. In trance recently, not by I can fix him or I can make him worse, but the something deeply wrong with him and I want to be around as a spectator when the car crash inevitably happens dynamic. That's a good one. I waited too long to read the sequel and now I can't even remember the characters. A novel by me. I read the whole series in less than two days and now can't separate the events of individual books. The thrilling sequel. That urge to climb the rooftop of your house. Where does that come from? The gargoyle instinct. Unquenchable desire to be the protag in an indie film about teenage disillusionment. All of my problems are ground level. La -da 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 -da. I complimented an old lady customer's little round glasses and she said, I thank you. Someone told me they had a steampunk look. I haven't been called a punk in a long time, much less a steamy one. I'm flatlining. This is so pure. Trans rights. I don't know what yet. I'm looking for inspiration if folks have any ideas. Every day I aspire to be insane, flirtatious, androgynous, and violent, just like Bugs Bunny. Harley Quinn childhood journal entry. I approve every aspect of this post. My favorite genre of anime is wacky comedy until second to last episode where it suddenly becomes soul crushingly depressing. This is literally Angel Beats. I would be so good at having conversations if it wasn't for all the disorders. <laughs> Miss, what's the sweet you like the most? Where did this small Victorian London orphan boy find Wi-Fi? So I live in Wyoming, and today this guy rode down my street on a horseback yelling, THE BRITISH ARE COMING! So the only logical response I could think of is, WE'RE ALREADY HERE, YOU BLOODY IDIOTS! In my best British accent, and he looked back and screamed. This is beautiful, I love everything about it. The only bad thing about garlic is all the paperwork you have to do before you can even cut it up. Look at that. Layers and layers of bureaucratic bullshit. Opie, I hope you realize how strongly you've impacted my life. I think about this every time I use garlic. Every. Time. Y'all have like, actual visual images of your mutuals? I'm sorry, but I 100% picture you as your icon, even if your icon's like, a candle. I assume you're a sentient candle. I do this with everyone online. You have an actual face? No. You're clearly a candle. This is why I get confused with Andy. Sometimes he's just text with a buff body. And then sometimes he's a tiny little, little gremlin guy with a little hat. Look at him, so cute. Not gonna lie, one of my favorite parts about writing urban fantasy is determining how and where the fantasy meshes in with reality. Like, I'm not saying Freddie Mercury was a siren, but have you ever heard anyone not sing along to Bohemian Rhapsody? I rest my case. It's the magic of it. Can't fucking dance to it. Sure as hell can sing along with it. All right, hear me out. Sword. A weapon with a long metal blade and a hilt with a handguard used for thrusting or striking. Behold, a sword. Hilt? Got it. Guard? Got it. Used for cutting? Got it. Infinitely long blade? Got it. That's a sword. God, Javelin guy's probably cringing at this right now. Good things about owning a lot of games. Choices. Bad things about owning a lot of games. CHOICES! Upon inspection of my blog, turns out I've been a bit of a meanie head. Are you gonna do anything about it? 
He's gonna get worse, isn't he? ADHD culture is doubting yourself and saying it's all in your head, and then going on Tumblr and seeing an ADHD culture is post that perfectly describes what you're doing beforehand. And I hate it! Finally, the answers to jorts we've all been looking for. My eyes are bleeding. Someone at Square Enix is furious for not coming up with this. Guarantee I'm gonna see this in a patch one day for 14. Did, did Cinderella ever talk to her man about his face blindness? I met the perfect woman, but it was a special occasion. So now wherever she is, her makeup and hair are probably different. This is my nightmare. Rip Prince Charming, who would let the whole kingdom make jokes about his foot fetish for the rest of his life because every blonde with an updo looks basically the same as far as he can tell. They call him Prince Charming because he's always really polite to strangers to cover for the fact that he doesn't know if he's supposed to recognize them from somewhere. And when you're a prince, that shit starts wars. I actually kind of feel bad for him now. Not me saying not me at the start of every sentence to express that I am indeed the person I'm talking about. <laughs> Apply bun directly to the forehead. As an animal science major, I can 100% certify that this is the correct usage of a bun. Based on the bun's look, I think they highly disagree. Genres are outdated. I sort my music by thoughtiness, jam mobility, rebelliousness, theatricality, and depression. You know, good she shanty hits all of these. He's fucked up, horrible, living nightmare. I desire him carnally. There once was a doctor named Freud, who women prefer to avoid. Bitch loved his cocaine, but he couldn't explain. Hatsune Miku Vocaloid. What a year this week has been. It's Monday. It sure as hell is. The earlier in the day Monday you reblog, the funnier it gets. The sad part is, this is all 2019. I still think you gotta be on some voodoo shit to work one of these fuckers. Uh, play pause, volume up down, next back. What's hard to understand about the controls? Burn the witch! Seriously, when I learn that someone is into K-pop, I have a hard time because I don't know how to talk to them. Like, how deep are you in? What level of fangirl are you comfortable with? Is it too late to save you? Only 90s kids will remember. Only 90s kids will ever remember. 90s kids remember everything. They remember the birth of the universe. They remember humanity's greatest downfalls. They remember things that have not happened. Things that might never happen. They can see the death of everything. All of these vivid memories will haunt them forever. Will 90s kids ever be able to forget? I'm relatable, all right? I wonder if Guilty Gear has like, a fandom. Not like a community built around the fighting game, but like, say, the Sonic fandom, or Boku no Hero Academicus, or whatever. I wonder if anyone ever looked at Soul Dude Guy and went, Blarpo. <laughs> Soul Dude Guy! I'm just saying, if seals are mermaid dogs, then otters are definitely mermaid cats. This makes sense. Sometimes, I will read for three hours at a stretch. And then sometimes, I will not read anything off my shelf for three weeks straight. There is no in-between. People say shower thoughts are just your brain throwing out all of the bad and sometimes useless ideas. What shower thoughts really are, are in fact what happens when your shower washes away all of your good ideas. May I implore? Bath. All of your good ideas stay in the tub. Things that will survive a nuclear apocalypse. Cockroaches. A few world leaders. Several million Swiss citizens and AO3 authors. Sorry this chapter's late. I spent the last few days trying to find a laptop charger in the zombie horde wastelands. You know how it is. Anyway, as always, betrayed by Sasuke's ass 52 who spent all of her designated Wi-Fi time in the bunker screaming at me on Discord, so I know all of you will love this chapter in the next. Enjoy! AO3 authors after the heat death of the universe. Sorry for the delay. I haven't been having spotty Wi-Fi recently, colon three. Okay, but can we go back to the several million Swiss citizens being able to survive? What's that about? At the doctor being shown a chart with different types of man-made horrors on them while the doctor asks whether each of them is beyond or within my comprehension. Th that's... he's just showing you your organ system and your nervous system. That's what they look like. It's okay. Talking to my mom about being ace and she said, Well, if you were to kiss a gender in the future, what would it be? And I said, A loaf of garlic bread because it's fucking delicious. Yeah. Cats can't do any tricks. Well, wrong. Cats can sniff, fall off things, and lick plastic. 
This, this is a bad trick. I just saw someone on campus stop the person ahead of me to ask for directions, and this poor man just looks at the student's phone and goes, I don't know how to tell you this. You're on the wrong campus. You're in the wrong city. I want to know the story. Hello, did you know that all the elderly NPCs in Skyrim are part of an unplayable race called Elder because the Skyrim character creator doesn't have an age slider? Age slider? Don't you mean an Elder Scroll? <laughs> Someone please help me. My mom tried to tell me Irish and British are the same thing. What the f- What the f- I'm sorry, what the fuck did you just say? Andy, get the entirety of England. I'll go pick up Ireland. We have someone to talk to. Wait, hold up, Italia's real? I thought it was like that thing where everyone was drawing websites as anime twinks, but for countries, but it's a fucking anime? I'm gonna watch it. No, no, don't, 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 don't. All baby forms of pseudo-legendaries and overpowered Pokemon in general are peak character design. Specifically this rotund specimen. Round motherfucker supreme. Operative fat fuck. Thank you for your service. I love him. On my May blog. <laughs> yeah, right, as if I'm afraid of the moon. Logging into my moon fear blog. Moon's been pretty creepy lately. Garen and Mumbo. These are the most blorbo ass names I've ever seen. Pretty sure you guys are just making up characters now. Oh my god, bestie. I really love the cottage core aesthetic you've got going. Get out of me, fucking swap! It's me, the Tumblr mate! I want all the microplastics in me to gather together and come out of my face as a pair of sunglasses. Yo, yeah. Imagine being the first ancient person to realize that the ocean and their tears taste the same. Imagine realizing that your sorrow and the waves share a taste. I would have gone crazy. Uh, okay. Behold, brothers. I thought this was Tumblr's weird ad for skincare. Dermatologists hate him. I think some of you need to eat a slice of cheesecake and listen to ambient rain noises for 10 hours. I want you to know I did this exact thing yesterday and it was so surreal seeing this post. I thought I wrote it in my sleep. You are one of my sims. They also might not be giants. Let's not get our hopes up. Ha Homestar Runner wouldn't lie to me. Still trying to come to terms with the facts that I'll never be a librarian who can speak a dead language and be recruited by a ruggish but handsome explorer for a quest to lift a curse and save the world. Because of the pandemic travel restrictions? Because of the pandemic travel restrictions! Yeah. <laughs> Zelda Four Swords on Switch, but since there's technically eight players able to join Switch games, they have Zelda get split into four also. And Vaddy kidnaps some random rich girl who he thinks is Zelda, and then he gets beat up by eight brightly colored children. Yes, I want to play this so badly. Sick of dressing mysterious and hot. Well, they'll be dressing noisy and unhinged. I made better friends when I looked dorky and weird. Hmm. Ibuprofen and sink water is the midnight version of coffee and a cigarette. I'm starting to think some of you guys might not be okay. Shh. Please respect European cultural dishes. I think I'm dying or I have a common cold. Either way, bye guys. Lockdown, lockdown. Just saw a tweet saying it's time to come back to Tumblr. Please, it was so peaceful. We need to be as cringe as fucking possible right now. You got it, senpai! Half-bloods, grab your blood! I don't know, I didn't read the book. Sandman fans, grab your sand! Everyone who is into Super Hulak, resurrect your agent reaction gift folders! Oh, shit, wait, this won't work. I think half the problem users were also Super Hulaks. We need the big guns. Undertale fandom! Time to start another AU renaissance! I just like this character. Her character arc and traits in no way are pertinent to how I am or I'm feeling at this moment in time. It's not... not that. Alright, for the first time ever, I'm going to say his name how everyone tells me to say his name. <clears throat> Pookie Cho. Favorite McDonald's nugget shape. Fat. Fucking L. That's how I feel saying his name right. Is it just me or does having a positive interaction with a stranger scratch a very particular itch? I think it's the reassurance that the world is not split solely into people who already love you and people who never will. Or just the reassurance that I'm not a complete social failure. Uh, or also, it's just nice to know that there are nice people out there. Yeah. My phone had a glitch, now Tumblr overrides my do not disturb setting. I can't escape. Fuck! Fuck. Masculine urge this, feminine urge that. Where's the primal urge to eat a rock? That is not what I read the first time I looked at this one. Oh god. Quick, end the end the video. End the video! But uh but
Small Dog has been knighted and may now be addressed as Sir Small Dog. Proud of him. Big Man is like a platonic Tumblr sexy man. A Tumblr lovely man. Tumblr silly man. Tumblr big man. Honestly, at this point in my Tumblr existence, if any of my Tumblr posts end up in one of those Tumblr videos, I would probably turn into golden dust and disperse into the wind. Psst, PM. No, stop. I'm already turning to dust. I swear to God, if I log on later and see PM Seymour in my notice, I'm committing arson and placing a hex on your house. Please don't commit arson. So putting a hex on people's homes is fine, but you draw the line at arson? I mean, my house is already hexed, so it would be kind of redundant. Why is your house hexed? Open the hex box. Why'd you open the hex box? That's never a good plan. It said open this, and I always follow directions. Hey, Pandora, is that you? No, no this no. is Patrick. How do you feel about the whole Ned situation? You mean the fact that he has to make a school survival guide? Yeah, life's tough, man, especially middle school. Obsessed with animals that don't immediately understand something and just tilt their head about it. Does it make any more sense at a 45 degree angle, bud? Do it. I parade myself as an intellectual, but in reality, I just said a Latin, lat out and laugh to myself for a good five minutes. <laughs> so witty. Is pretty boy even an insult? Everything you say after you call someone a pretty boy is immediately more homoerotic. Like, hello, pretty boy. Tarot cards are passive aggressive vodka ants and no one can convince me otherwise. <laughs> Any ideas for a new park sculpture? How about... Giant metallic octopus attacking a rook. Perfect. That's cool as fuck, though. I love how humor operates on integer overflow. Like, if something becomes so fucking unfunny, it can loop back around to being hilarious purely because of ironic usage. <clears throat> this post is about the Family, Family Guy Death, Death Post! post.